Hi everybody, Scott Lear here at B Chord. We are sitting on lovely Broadway at the crazy town here right on the strip. And uh, we are so privileged because we get to do our first in Nashville interview with Miss Jenna Renee. How are oh you? Oh my gosh, I'm great, how are you? Doing fantastic, this is awesome. Beautiful morning, the sun's out, it's, it's warm. It's perfect, <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. So first off, tell us a little bit about how long you've been in Nashville. Give us a little background story there. Yeah, sure, so I moved to Nashville about a year and two months ago. Um, so I'm still kind of a newbie, but um, I absolutely love it here. And um, I had come to visit before, do some writing and um, some vocal coaching here and just absolutely fell in love with it and um, had to be here, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Tell us a little background story, how you got into music, how did that you know, become something that you really wanted to do? Yeah, sure. So I actually grew up singing in church, um, mostly, and then when I was about 14 years old, I sat down at a piano. I, I've been playing since I was five, and um, but that was when I started writing my own original music, was around 14, and so I did that, and a family friend of ours was actually um, a producer and heard some of my original stuff and he worked with me to make my first little album. And uh, from there, I just fell in love with it. And um, I got lucky enough to be on um, American Idol and that kind of pushed my career forward. And so I've been writing and, and working on a new EP here and I, I'm so excited to oh, that's be That's great. Yeah. It segued in perfectly. And believe me, everybody knows Idol. That's a great one. And we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but the new EP uh, that really has this kind of, okay, when's this coming out? What have you been working on? How's that going? Oh, I know, I'm so excited. So I had the privilege to work with um, Trey Bruce, who's an amazing writer and producer in town. And so we've been writing together for this EP for about a year. Um, and I had a couple other people that I was super lucky to write with as well. And so I'm so proud of the music uh, that's coming out on this EP. It's gonna be called Broke. And we are in studio cutting vocals for it right now, actually. And so we're hoping it's going to come out sometime end of February, beginning of March. And you did a really cool process when I was looking through. You know, I, I see that you post stuff about, hey, donate, you know, whatever to the process of making the EP. And I'll work with you on doing a song, things like that. That was really cool. I, I saw that. So tell us, how did that work? Did you get some feedback off of that? Yeah, so I worked with a company here in Nashville. They're new, and it's called Mantwango. And so their goal is to help artists release music independently. So those guys reached out to me, John, who's the head of the company, and uh, they said, hey, how would you like to fundraise for your EP with us? And I said, heck yeah. So <laughs> their platform is outstanding. Um, their entire team was awesome, and, and they really walked me through the process. And honestly, people were so excited to be involved. Um, and so I, I got 111% funded, so over the top. So I'm so so grateful to everybody for for be willing to come on this journey with me so that's so cool that yeah. is so cool so drunk girls uh, one of the yes. songs that will that be the next one coming out uh, that you're gonna release and put out for people to hear um we're still deciding what the singles gonna be um, I'm a little partial to drunk girls just okay. because I think it's a lot of fun um, you know when people hear the title they're a little like drunk girls you're writing a song about drunk girls and uh, but it's you know it's really a message of why can't we all love each other unconditionally all the time you know and uh, I had so much fun writing that one with Taylor Lightcap and Colby D. It's it's a great song, and I'm really excited for everybody to hear it. That's great. We know Taylor well. He's an awesome guy. Yes. Uh, so what is something you have to do before you perform? Something right before you get ready to go out there, what do you have to do? It's a good question. So the biggest thing for me is to just close my eyes and take a deep breath and like become present in the moment and i think um as a performer songwriter artist like it's easy to overthink sometimes and um just to to become really one with that moment and just be present like that's the most important thing for me not thinking about okay i gotta do this gotta do this gotta do this but to get lost in the moment and the music and just put everything out on stage so that's great yeah. 2018's here we it just is. just worked into this so what are some of your goals for 2018 well, the first goal is to get the CP done and released. Um, that, that's my number one goal. Um, I would say beyond that, um, working towards being able to play out in town more, um, hopefully getting a tour together at some point, starting to do more live shows. So really just taking this EP and pushing it to the next level. That's great. Yeah. And I, I was diving through, doing a little research, yeah. looking through, and I saw a name pop up that I loved his music, you know, me growing up, Mr. Richard Marks. You uh, uh, you guys worked on writing a song, so tell us a little bit about that. Oh, this is actually it's a great story. So Richard was kind enough to uh, write with me for this EP. And uh, so I actually was out in California for a little while and we met up to write and I had a couple hooks, which is like, you know, the main, main point of a song, the main concept um, that I brought into him. And two of them were kind of like slower ballad ideas. And the last one was like a sexier hook that I had come up with. And I was assuming that he was gonna pick one of the like emotional ballads, right? And so 
I pitch it to him and he goes, let's write the sexy one. I like that one. I was like, oh God, I can't write a sexy song with Richard Marks. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But um, he was wonderful and absolutely a genius. And so we wrote the song called Better Off and it's going to be on the EP and it's one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited to hear that one. Yeah. So top 24 in Idol, right? So tell us a little bit about that process. How was that? How did that help you in your career and kind of bring you to where you are now? Yeah, so I actually had been watching Idol since I was so young, like since Kelly Clarkson won. And I've always loved the show. I think it's such a great way for artists to be on a stage of that magnitude, you know? It's like a boot camp, really. Um, and so getting on the show for me was a dream come true. And honestly, working with some of the people on the show, like Ricky Minor, up, absolutely outstanding. Worked with me at one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Scott Borchetta was absolutely phenomenal with the contestants, um, you know, teaching us what it takes to be on stage and to live that, you know, intense lifestyle of going. Hollywood week was probably the hardest week of my life, to be honest with you. Like, you're getting three, four hours of sleep every night. You're on camera 12 hours a day, you know, competing and to be on stage and sing and try to be present that all that time. It's, it's sure, a crazy sure. boot camp, oh. tell you what, but. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'd, I'd go back tomorrow. It was awesome. <laughs> That's great. That's great to hear, too. So if you could collaborate with any artist, okay, going to put you on the spot, who would it be? can be outside the genre. You tell me. Yep, any collaboration. That's a hard question. For me, I would have to say Adele. Um, she is not only, like, vocal goals for me, like her voice is outstanding, but her songwriting is absolutely incredible. Um, I would also love to write and work with Ryan Tedder, actually. Um, I love his production style, his writing style as well, so those are probably two people. Two good ones, two very yeah. good ones. So how about three things about you? Let's let everybody know a little bit more about you. Give us three interesting things about you or, you know, growing up, tell us some stuff. Okay, let me think. Uh, first off, I'm a big marine biology nerd. So I actually played with going to school for marine biology for a little while. So like I'm the girl who like sits at home watching Blue Planet and is like super pumped about it. <laughs> like it's kind of it's kind of embarrassing. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, I make the best chocolate chip cookies ever. It's another fun fact about me. And I'm trying to think, do I have any like secret hidden talents? I don't really think I do. <laughs> Um, Did you play any sports when you were I in high school? Soccer in high school. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not super coordinated with my hands, my feet. Um, I can do a little bit better with, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I played soccer in high school. Well, I expect so. the next time we get together, then we get some chocolate chip cookies. Oh, you know, yes, you, for sure. Definitely. For sure. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna end this with my signature question. I ask every single artist we talk to. Okay. It's our B chord signature question. <laughs> you are stranded on an island. You can take one instrument with you. Okay. It can be anything. What would the instrument be if it has a sentiment? mental value let us know and why if I could take any instrument with me it would be a Steinway baby grand piano a white one and I would just lock myself away on this island and play it for hours because I love I play piano and oh my gosh Steinway baby grand uh, yeah make it a full actually like if I'm on an island like, right. why it's not? the only thing yeah. you could have with you there right? you might as well make it a full yeah that's what I mean no that's great okay so before we let everybody go I'm gonna turn it over to you give everybody where you are on social media all that good stuff where they can follow you and get to you awesome thank you so much guys for listening once again I'm Jenna Renee you can find me on all the social medias as Jenna Renee music and I look forward to connecting with you guys Jenna Renee thanks so much thank everybody thank you crazy town thank you so much for letting us do this here Nashville Broadway Follow us at bcord615 on the web, www.bcord.net. Thank you all so much. Talk to you soon.